want to talk about justice issues in Indonesia. Hi everyone, my name is Noni. So my topic is intersocial treatment and unequal government regulation. Um, it might seem difficult to understand what the title means, but basically both are justice issues. But intersocial treatment is more into um, race, gender, or religions, etc. While unequal government regulation is more like voting laws, environmental laws, policing laws, and everything. So basically, both matters and plays the role. I think I want to ask you several questions. Do you know about the girl in Banyuwangi who got rejected from the school that she wanted to go to? She got rejected because she's not wearing a hijab and she's not Muslim. Or do you know if until October 2017, our Ministry of Manpower stated that there is still 30% acts of gender discrimination in companies? Well, if you don't know, at least you try to stop checking your Instagram just to see unnecessary things or watch YouTube just to see viral videos, then watch news. I mean, seriously, watch news. It helps you. The transition from 1945 era until the present era has shown massive improvement, such as capital city relocation or government change, those are the examples, but still, justice has been a big challenge for Indonesia. Do you know if there was an old lady who stole a cassava because she was hungry and then she got sentenced into prison for five years? But there's so many different crime cases that had done by the upper classes, but it's all almost getting unsolved by the law enforcement organs. We cannot let justice to be dull in the top, but sharp in the bottom, right? As young generation, we play the role. We have to value the role that we are in. We study civics not to get the highest score, but we study in order to know if there's different races out there. There's six official religions in Indonesia, not only Muslims, and we pursue education in order to know those differences and not judging them by their love. No matter how rich they are, no matter how close they are to you, if they're wrong, then they are wrong, right? Let's start from there. If we don't discriminate in any aspects, then justice issues will no longer occur. I have a message for you. So we are the hope of our country. We have to contribute. We are not in charge to solve the problem, the justice problems nowadays, but we are in charge to prevent them not to happen in our future. So I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to deliver to you and thanks for listening. Bye.